times. Okay, now you gotta wait for the right time with that one. Okay. I always see the like these gem paths, and I always like think cause I've never gotten a gem in this game in my life. I always feel really left out. Like, oh, that'd be really cool if I ever got one, and like if I ever take that little secret path there. I never have. But hopefully now that I've got one of the gems, I'll actually be able to live that that lifelong dream of coming across a secret path. That sentence went on for way too long. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Let's see how long it takes me to die. What the hell was that? Why the dog out next? Even that, that scared even my dog. You can't just make a whole house jump like that. Yeah, uh, my next door's um, got on holiday. Well, half of them has. And they've like... Well, some of my next door neighbours have gone on holiday with the rest of their family. And the, and the people who haven't gone holiday next door are looking after the family's dogs. And, well, they're very noisy. And I, they've actually been looking after them for a while, and so far they haven't made a noise while I'm recording. But it was kind of inevitable that they'd make a noise at some point, so I can't say I'm too annoyed. And I do have my window open, I've just noticed, so it's kind of my fault. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about noises. because yeah. Oh, by the way... If you've seen my update video I did recently, I am getting a Snowball mic, which is a very good quality mic that will get my voice very well. Um, and I was going to wait for that to arrive to do this LP, but I couldn't resist. I really wanted to LP this game, thanks to Agent Atomic. And this boss, whoa, this boss Papu Papu is very easy. It's got to hit him on the head. I think after twice of doing the same trick, he would have realised, wait a minute, maybe that's not such a good idea. But he doesn't. Oh, damn it! But you know, he doesn't realise. That's <laughs> like how his, how his back flab moves whenever he swings his weird mallet thing down. Oh, what? I'm gonna close the window. I hope I don't forget to edit out that interruption. Because. And I was gonna do something, but now, because of that, I didn't manage to. When. If you jump just before he does his celebration, his celebration is jumping into the air going, woohoo, as you just saw. And if you're already in the air when he does that, he goes twice as high. It looks ridiculous, but hilarious. Ridiculous. Hilarious. Or whatever, anyway. Yeah, so that was that level. Papu Papu. Um, and as I was trying to say before the dog bot the first time, I haven't actually been killed by an enemy yet. I've only fell down holes. So, I forgot to say. So let's see how long it actually takes me to die. If I don't die by the slippery climb level, I, I will die then. Oh, wow, I never knew he, he he was in this level. The embryo tokens. By the way, the, um, the antagonist in this game, Dr. Neocortex, he's the one... That um, originally want he was like he's like a yellow-headed guy with a giant N on his forehead. He was the one that I originally wanted to um, make you into a bad guy in the cutscene. And okay, I'm gonna be careful about this. One of these is the embryo. I'm guessing it's this one. It is. And the middle one is a life. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Whew, that went well. Don't hurt me. Damn it. Oh no, turtle! Oh. Okay, um, and he's he's actually got his own tokens in the game as well that you collect three of in every level, and his tokens are the only ones that are actually kind of useful because if you collect three of them and go to this bonus round, you actually get a key if you complete it. I've never actually gotten a key, and um, in this game before, and if you actually collect a key, you unlock another level, and that'd be really cool. If I, I'll try to do that in this LP, that'll be very cool. Alright, come on. Oh, I was hoping that was uh, the third embryo. But another bonus round is always good in my books. I'm not even an author. But if I did have a book, that would be good in it. I don't know why I feel the need to get every box. I don't need to. But, I don't know, I just feel like... What the hell? I just feel very OCD-ish. Oh god, okay. Oh, I practically do it now. That was the harder part. I want. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah. 
All right. Yo, you got no lines for me this time? Well, goodbye then. You don't seem trapped there. You seem very willing. Like you just want to stand there. Like you're not trapped. Mm, very strange. Anyway, back to this level. Rolling Stones. I get it. It's like that band. The Clash. I don't know. Okay. Wait, am I like near the end of the level? Where's the third embryo then? Oh, I remember. Uh, I think it's the last box in the entire level. So I remember seeing it thinking, wait a minute. Yeah, you knew it. I remember seeing it thinking, wait a minute. I didn't even know there was any in this level. And I was at the end and it was the first one I got. Oh, I remember this. Oh, God. Oh my god, I've never done that before, and I thought that would kill me then. Awesome! I've never done that! Well, that's a first, and that didn't even save my progress. Alright, so it's only the blonde bandicoot ones that do. It's only the Crash's girlfriend ones that do. I have to keep that in mind. But again, password system. And this game's pretty short anyway. Oh, come on. This was a bit harsh. <laughs> Who the hell did that to me? <laughs> yeah. Well, this game is so good. I remember um, when I was first introduced to this game and my dad. When um, the story starts off a little bit negative, when me and my dad. Not me and my dad, when my mum and my dad had a divorce. When me and my dad had a divorce. When my mum and my dad had a divorce. And he moved house, obviously. He didn't move downstairs or anything, he moved house. And he actually moved house next door to someone who would uh, who would become one of my best friends. Uh, I'll say his first name, his name is Mackenzie. Um, and he had this game, I'd never even heard of it at this point. And he was like, hey, Crush Bandicoot, wanna try it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And it was awesome, it was so good. And me and him, he'd never gotten to the end before, I don't think, and obviously neither would I, because I never played it. So he made it our mission to get to the end, and we got to one of the last levels, it was like a level set in a lab. These guys throw um, lab experiments at you. I don't know why, you know, it seems like a lot of hard work, I don't know why they throw them at Crash. Um, by the way, those hogs that are spinning around, I used to theorise that they were the hogs. The, that was the hog that you was riding on in your last life before you died. <laughs> and anyway, it, he introduced me to the game and we both made our mission to get through it and on one of the last levels, my friend came around and... Oh my... I'm not even noticing this! I've never done this! Oh my... Okay. Alright, anyway. He was like, hey, can I have a go? We were like, I don't know, we've got, we haven't got that many lives, it's one of the last levels. Should we? And we let him have a go, and he pretty much <laughs> uh, got game over, and I didn't have a memory card at the time. And yeah, we actually got there in one sitting, and it took us all the way back to the beginning. And I never... I didn't talk to him for a long while. His name was Harry, by the way. I feel okay saying the first name, saying the second names. I don't know. Um, I was doing a test for a Portal 2 co-op burnout. Co-op burnout? Why did I say burnout? A Portal 2 co-op LP, my friend Tim, Agent Atomic recently and he was like he was talking like about I mean his friends he was using full names and, he, and I was like I don't know if you should use full names like that it seems a bit personal he was like I don't I don't I don't get what the big deal is it's not like someone's gonna stab and kill them what's the problem I was like I know but it just seems like very uh, I mean I can't explain it but it just seems like a bit too personal you wanna you wanna keep your professional life away from your personal life if you know what I mean and I guess the main reason for me is because I, I'm studying film in college and it's in film studies it's kind of common knowledge that if you do a film and you mention someone's name or for God's sake and you mention someone's name or you know have a cameo in a film you have to get their legal consent that you have permission to use their name and I guess that's just kind of stuck with me I know it's YouTube but I still try to be as professional as I can so rules like that still apply to me and I yeah, he did eventually agree with me, and if you ever do LPs and he says a full name, I'll bleep it out, but I don't know. I mean, I, I can see why he doesn't get why it's a big deal to use a full name in an LP, but I don't know, it's just something that I I don't think should be done. Uh, I don't know how I got to the topic of this. 
Anyway, yeah, I don't think me and him, me and Mackenzie, actually did ever get to the end of the game. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I don't think we actually did ever get to the end of the game. The first time I ever got to the end of the game was when I eventually bought my own copy. I guess um, karma does happen, though, because I know my dad moved house again. Which is, I never saw Mackenzie again after this. Well, I did, but only at school when he... Um, he was a couple of years younger than me, so when I went to secondary school, he went to the same secondary school I did, but we never really talked. Um, I, I borrowed Crush Bandicoot off Harry, because by this point he bought it himself. And while I had it, it was all fine, but when I gave it back to him, it, it suddenly didn't work anymore. And even though I was genuinely like, oh god, I'm, I'm really sorry, on the inside I did feel like, yeah, yeah. This is, this is what you get for not letting me or Mackenzie get to the end of the game and we were so close. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I don't know. Uh, I was young, young and foolish. And I thought I was going to die there. I don't know why. There's nothing there to kill me. Uh, come on, land on it, land on it, land on it. Oh, I knew it. And of course I landed all the way back to the bottom. I could have gone to the left. I would have landed on the platform, but no. Oh no, be quick, be quick, be quick. These are really annoying if you keep fading at them like I always used to. This is one of the big problems I had with the game. Well, not problems, not a criticism. But it was a part of the game I always had trouble with. Oh, it's a secret. There's actually one part of this show called I always get stuck at. Literally, I always get stuck at. And it's this bit here. It's got squirm. There we go. That's what it's sweet time. I took it sweet ass time, fool. I need to stop talking like that. Right now. Alright. Die, monkey! I remember, um, monkeys actually used to be my favourite animal. There was a point in my life where I had over 200 stuffed monkeys in my room. And, um, I didn't ever want to hurt the monkeys in this game. I was like, no, I don't want to hurt him. I remember Mackenzie being like, oh, for God's sake. So I remember. Uh, even when I was getting too old for stuffed toys, I used to always have them with me. Like, when I took my dad's ass, he was like, you got to grow up, stop being a big baby with your toys. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> God. Uh, young and foolish. I don't know why I keep saying that. It's not something I usually... Does that class as an... Doesn't class as an enemy? That's the first time I've died without falling down a hole. Well, okay, let's say it doesn't class as an enemy. Well, it kind of doesn't really, but... I still want to see how long I can go without getting hit by an enemy. How oh, many times up? Damn it! It turned off! Oh, top me off guard! Oh, come on. I don't want this to be the start of me doing crap. Don't let this be the start of a crap streak. I always remember that fire looking really cool back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> I talk like I'm 70. But it looks really... Oh, God damn it! But it looks really stupid now. Well, not stupid, but it doesn't look... I wouldn't say it looks really cool. Maybe I guess that's just my young eyes. Sounds a really weird way of putting it, but... I always remember wanting to go to those giant things in the background as well. Like that weird twisty tower thing on the right. And the... Almost Lion King-ish looking tree on the left. I remember thinking... I always wanted to do that. Like, like in games, I always wanted to go into the background. I always wanted to go to the places that were in the background. Because they always look so cool. Oh, come on! I knew I was about to. Oh, I could have landed on that. I didn't even see that. My. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, I'm not dying again. And then that happens. Great timing. I don't think I can reach the wire over here. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on! It does it at different time. Like the timing is slightly off. So sometimes after the fire goes out, it gives me enough, just enough time to jump. But sometimes it doesn't. It's so inconsistent. See, look, it hasn't. This takes ages to go all that time. But you're a little kid and you're playing this game. You don't. And the time. Oh, I knew it. I, when you jump, you can't undo it. And just after I jumped, I knew I was about to die. Come on, I don't want to spend the whole part dying on an easy level. This level is not even hard. What are we doing? Okay. Okay, just... Okay, just... just no, 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 no. Of course it took ages to jump that time, because I didn't... do it. 
What am I talking about? Okay, come on. Die! 